June 18th, 1968, it was pitch black, no moon, no stars, no light beyond the glow of Lieutenant Taylor's cockpit controls when he heard a whisper come through his radio. We're surrounded. We're surrounded. That's what he heard. The call had come from a four-man Army patrol unit just northeast of Saigon, a unit that included Sergeant David Hill. Earlier that day, the men had set out to recon the area. But in the dark, the men found themselves in the middle of the Vietnam Viet Cong stronghold. Nearly 100 enemy soldiers now encircled their unit. The men picked up the radio and made a call. It was no longer a recon mission. They needed a rescue mission. Without hesitation, Lieutenant Taylor and his co-pilot began racing toward them. Over the radio, he laid out the game plan. He would use his Cobra to give the unit cover until a rescue helicopter could extract them. That was one. There was this one simple problem. It was pitch black. Lieutenant Taylor couldn't determine exactly where they were. So he asked his men to launch a flare, a move that revealed their location to him, but also to the enemy. Lieutenant Taylor knew the risk, but he was ready. Over the radio, he said, let's get to work. In a few days, young soldiers about the same age as Larry was during the dark night in Vietnam. They'll arrive at Ranger School. Like all of us today, they're inspired by his story, and they will be. But how, by how he refused to give up, refused to leave a fellow American behind, refused to put his own life above the lives of others in need. When duty called, Larry did everything, did everything to answer. And because of that, he rewrote the fate of four families for generations to come. That's valor. That's valor. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.